Toronto is under a special weather statement thanks to some wild weather swings. After last night's rainstorm, we got up to the high teens today and now we are in the midst of a sharp dip with the wind chill. It's expected to feel more like minus 12 tomorrow morning, but it'll warm up later in the day. And for more on what's been going on, we are joined live now by Dave Phillips, Senior Climatologist with Environment and Climate Change Canada. Uh, Dave, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. It really feels like we are on a roller coaster and we oh. just can't get off. The temperatures have been almost too good to be true and now things are beginning to change drastically. We're already experiencing strong winds out there. What, what is going on? Well, Lynn, you describe it so well. It is like a roller coaster. It's dipping and diving, and it's been this way for a couple of days now, and we're going to continue to see that in the, uh, in the next few days coming up. But we've seen such a dramatic temperature drop. You know, in Toronto, we had 16 degrees at noon, and 17 minutes later, it was 6 degrees. I mean, a drop of 10 degrees in, in, in just uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, we saw, I, I looked up at... Uh, uh, for example, it's uh, Sudbury. It's minus 14, but in North Bay, not too far away, it was plus three. I mean, that's a short. So we know that cold air, which is well to the north, is now going to sweep right down and and grab a hold of us. I mean, we saw temperatures this morning at 10 o'clock that were 50 degree difference between northern Ontario and southern Ontario. We broke a record today in Toronto, 16 degrees. I mean, that's a that's a record and literally smashed the previous record yeah. by about five five degrees or more. So and. And then the winds, uh, then the, the winds have just been moderate to now they're going to be gusting at, at 40 up to 70. And we see something that is, we don't often see it in the Toronto area, what we call a flash freeze. It's almost as if it's just like going from the, you know, from the countertop into the, into the, uh, uh, my gosh, I'm even getting a fire alarm where going off where I'm, oh, uh, all good, I mean, but that's all right. <laughs> um, uh, so, so certainly we're seeing this dramatic change. And, you know, it's like weather wars breaking out. Um, it is, in fact, um, the warm air duking out with the cold air. And that's certainly going to continue. We could see record warm temperatures come, say, Monday or, or, or Tuesday. And so it really is a dramatic kind of switch around. It's like experiencing winter and spring on the same hour. And, of yeah. course, people are wondering, what are they going to wear? I mean, it's not just from one day to the next. That it is, you know, it, it's in fact, it's almost by the minute you have to change your clothes. It's true, and this is a live look of the conditions out there. The wind gusts at the beginning of this hour, uh, we were sitting at 16. Dave, it was feeling like yes. it as well. We've now dropped to nine degrees. It's feeling more like four. As you noted, the highs have been really high, and the lows have been really low. We went out there and we asked people how they feel about this weather, and and one woman said. I don't really know what's going on. Should we be worried about all these changes? You know, Len, I, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think we should be. I mean, this is not climate change. This is not El Nino. This is just the weird, wild and wacky weather that happens. Now, we get thunderstorms in wintertime. We call them thunder snows. Um, and uh, but this one's different. This is like a July thunderstorm that we had yesterday afternoon and this morning, uh, where it's just almost the heat and humidity and builds up, and and then you just get the the rain. I think what worries me is the rain that we've had, and if the winds stay strong, uh, the good news it'll dry out the surfaces. We want as much drying out before the real cold, freezing temperatures come, which will certainly be by late afternoon or early early evening. But I don't think this is a sign of climate change. Um, uh, it, it really is just the, the the kind of weather wars that that often break out, and 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 what we're seeing is cold Arctic air is duking it out with warm Gulf of Mexico air, and the battleground uh, is over on over Toronto and southern Ontario. All right, uh, and all eyes, of course, on that evening commute when things could be a little bit messy. Uh, Dave Phillips, senior climatologist with Environment Canada, always good to. Be with you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Lena.